back to my channel uh, and welcome to another day of our fifth year YouTube anniversary celebration extravaganza. I kind of like, I just, I really like that word, extravaganza. Doesn't it just make everything sound so much more fabulous? Extravaganza. Like, I'm gonna go on a laundry doing extravaganza, right? It doesn't make laundry sound so awful. So, uh, I don't know if you guys have been following me for the last few days, but this entire week has been a week of hauls and a week of giveaways. And this is no exception. So, today we are going to do an Ulta haul. And if you guys are like, whoa, I just randomly stumbled upon this channel, who is this lady and why is she yelling at me? Because that's how I talk. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we have been on YouTube for, you wanna say hello? You aren't a part of this birthday extravaganza, are you? I know, what is mommy thinking? What is mommy thinking? Hmm? You gonna show them your bark collar? And everyone's gonna talk all this mess about it? Why don't you wear it? I have. Don't you know it hurts? No, it doesn't. Does it shock hurt? No, it doesn't. It just vibrates. It vibrates and it keeps me quiet. She still barks though. She's all about that thug life. It could be vibrating the heck out of her. She's gonna keep barking. She's my tenacious little girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's why I love you so much. Because you're brave and tenacious and fearless. Who else goes up against a 56 pound healer? You do, right? That's right, that's right. So it is our fifth year YouTube anniversary and I thought what better way to give back than to do a haul with a giveaway included. So if you guys have been here this week, I really hope you've entered all of these giveaways. So what I decided to do was do hauls with my favorite retailers. This video is not sponsored and it's not in partnership with anyone, um, but I decided to haul some product from my favorite stores. I'm getting ready to go on vacation to Florida with my best friend. Summer's here, I'm changing my hair, I'm doing lots of cool new stuff, I'm trying new products, I'm enriching my tan. There's a lot of stuff happening over here. Clearly, we're saving lives. Uh, and so I thought, you know what I should do is, you guys, your favorite videos to watch are haul videos because for some reason, they're extremely entertaining. It's, it's, it's satisfying to me to haul because, you know, obviously I get new stuff and I get to go shopping, order online and then like refresh the UPS browser until it's like out for delivery. Does anyone else do that or is that just me? Um, so I thought, um, okay, we got a lot of stuff going on. We could do some, we could do some haulage. Y'all like those videos? You think they're entertaining? I don't know why my hauls are so long. It's like I, I talk about a product and then we end up talking about why, you know, crabs walk sideways and why the moon never actually disappears. I had to have that conversation with my six-year-old the other day. It was very confusing. Um, but uh, luckily, he still believes most things that I say. So um, you guys like hauls. So I thought I'm going to give you guys a week of your favorite type of video. I'm going to get to haul to celebrate my fifth year YouTube anniversary. And then you guys get a chance to enter uh, for a gift card giveaway of my favorite retailer. So that's uh, a long introduction for a video where I just haul randomness. Um, should we just get started? I hold half online, I hold half in store. If you guys follow me in my Saturday vlogs or my weekend vlogs, you saw me go to Ulta when I got some of these products. So let's just jump right in. Um, this actually is a double giveaway video. We have a gift card giveaway, uh, thanks to yours truly. And then we also have a giveaway from Beauty by Pop Sugar, which is one of my newest discoveries. We're gonna do a lot of damage in the Beauty by Pop Sugar department. Um, but before we get into that, let's uh, get into the rest of the stuff, which is in this bag. And most of the stuff was stuff that I hauled because I was like, well, summer's here and I'm going to Florida. You guys, I'm gonna be there for like 48 hours. Like, I've spent more money on like random bathing suits, summer dresses, and like tanning products than I've spent on my flight to Florida, okay? This is safe zone, safe zone, okay? <laughs> Dry shampoo! <laughs> the other day I was organizing my head knocker, that's the cabinet in my bathroom, and I realized I was down to one dry bar detox dry shampoo. Now that's like a $26 dry shampoo, and Ulta, when I walked in, was having a promo on the Batiste, which smells amazing. Um, I think it was buy one, get one half off, or something like that. Plus it's a drugstore brand, so you could use the in-store coupon. See what I'm going, see where I'm going with this? I'm a sucker for a good deal, you guys. Anyway, I got two of the Batiste dry shampoos, one in neon lights and the other one in strength and shine. This one, um, I gravitated towards, like, all right, let's just all in unison on the count of three. Y'all can point out why I saw this one. You ready? 
One, two, it's mint. <laughs> the color, the turquoise color always catches my attention, aka it's why I saw this brand, you guys. I always find things in this color. So I saw the packaging and I was like, oh, I wonder what scent it is. But then I noticed the cover was a different um, shade. Turns out this is a strengthening and shine dry shampoo. Okay, we've talked about this before. I have three hairs. They're greasy and oily and prone to breakage and I complain, wah, wah, my hair sucks all the time, whatever. But um, dry shampoo makes my hair extra dull. While it keeps this area dry looking and not greasy stuck together, all right, then um, the rest of it looks a little dull sometimes. And I'm not about that oil shine spray. So this is a um, dry shampoo that's supposed to strengthen and add shine. I'm a little nervous to use it. I haven't used it, but y'all have to keep me in your prayers because it says that it's supposed to strengthen your hair and make it shiny. Shine to me means a little oil, right? And I got this. A lot of you guys told me about two brands in particular. Uh, one of them I think was uh, Maui Babe, yeah. And then the other one is Australian Gold. Those are two brands that stood out to me a lot from your comments. So this could potentially be a, uh, my subscribers made me buy it video. <laughs> So Australian Gold, I hear, is one of the best products for tanning, right? Obviously, this isn't for sun protection. This is to make you tan quicker. And so I got the Bronzing Intensifier Dry Oil Spray, the Color Boost Maximizer. So again, Australian Gold is supposed to be a great brand for like fun in the sun type products. Um, I don't know if this is... Uh, if it has a color to it, I don't know if it smells good. Oh, it does, look at that, do you see that? It's like a light bronzy shade. Mmm, smells good. So I thought I would pack this for Florida, but then I thought, this isn't TSA approved, it's too big, and I'm not gonna transfer it into another bottle, so this is gonna be my companion when I do hashtag trampoline tanning. <laughs> We're still doing this, you guys. We're still going with this joke, okay? Okay, speaking of my subscribers made me buy it, Maui Babe. I got a comment that actually got a lot of thumbs up and a lot of you guys also bought this product because of that comment. This is the Maui Babe Browning Lotion. Now I got the one that is the coconut oil version. The other one was a um, mineral oil based one. And so I was like, mm, not so sure I wanna use the mineral oil one, even though that's the one that has the best reviews. But I was like, look, I'm stacking the deck. I want to be around at least until I'm 40, okay? So as I was pondering which Maui Babe to get, the mineral oil or the coconut oil one that looks like this, um, I saw this one. This is the Local Secret Tan Sealer. So this is the after browning lotion. It's supposed to enhance your tan, heal your skin, and seal in your tan. It's a combination of aloe, macadamia nut oil, antioxidants, and glycerin. That sounds pretty cool, right? I actually haven't smelled these. I wonder what these smell like. So I decided to make a mess while opening this. Ooh, it does have a lot of color to it. Let's see. That smells yummy. You know what it smells like? Okay, it smells like waffles with maple syrup and a little bit of coconut flake. Imagine that. I'm gonna wanna lick myself. This is a problem, you guys. I wonder if this will attract bugs. I mean, not like I have an issue attracting bugs already living in Texas, but um, all right, we're excited to use that. A few months ago, um, it's where I discovered time after time that lip gloss that all I do is post on my Instagram. Like every every Instagram post, it's like time after time. It's the gloss from uh, Beauty by Pop Sugar. Like I'm so obsessed with it. And you know how I feel about the word obsessed, right? So um, I was so in love and enamored by that lip gloss that they sent me that I was like, Wait, Ulta is carrying this brand, so why is this news to me? So I just, uh, so so this happened, um, and now I'm a fan, officially. Um, you guys still love me, right? Okay, let's just, let's talk about it a little bit. All right, let's talk about the stuff I have not used. This is the Just Enough Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 15. I got it in the shade two, light, Beige is beautiful, looks like this, comes with a pump. 
I swatched it and it appears to be my shade, but it is yet to be confirmed if it is. And I haven't actually used it. So a base product like this, you really have to test out to know if you're gonna like it. So this will be in a get ready with me probably coming up. Everything that's of color of some capacity, bronzer, highlighter, whatever on my face right now is actually Beauty by Pop Sugar. So when I get to it, I'll point it out on my face. Welcome to my face. Um, and uh, so you guys know what I'm talking about. So I have not used that. I have also not used, this is so fun. This reminds me of a lip gloss that Kat Von D came out with a few years ago. This is the Crystal Liquid Lip in Fairydescent, like fairy, but iridescent, fairydescent. You see what they did there? I mean, you know what? If you're gonna be all punny, you gotta be good at it, and that was really good. So that's what the, the gloss looks like. I'll have to show you guys a close up so you actually get like the feels for it because it's so pretty. It looks like a rainbow, like a molten rainbow in a package. And this is a lip gloss um, and it has a um, brush tip applicator, like a lip brush, not a doe foot or anything like that. Then I have the Make Waves Liquid Metallic Eye Color. This product's a little confusing for me. Um, I'm not wearing it. Um, do you see how watery it is? It's water. It's water that's going to dry very quickly on your eyes and make them look metallic, but it's not a harsh metallic look. It's a very gentle, kind of like a wash of metallic. It's very nice. It completely captures that like glowy, effortless summer glow. So I have yet to use this. I swatched it. It was a little, like I said, it's a little confusing because it's like water. It's full on water, but you swipe it and psh, it dries instantly. So it's really cool. Then you guys know I'm a fan of the, um, oh shoot, I don't have the gloss that I'm wearing here right now, but I got two additional glosses of the Be The Boss. The Be The Boss formula of glosses is awesome. So Time After Time is my favorite shade. It's like that mauve rose color, super natural. You could wear it with a lip liner, you could wear it without, and it's always gonna make your lips look juicy and nourished and healthy. But I had to get two more colors because why not? Um, I'm wearing one right now. I'm gonna have to go find it for you guys. But the other one that's here that I haven't used is called Borderline, and this is like a coral shade. So the one that I'm wearing on my lips now is actually a nude. Guys, the amount of cardio I just had to do for you. I couldn't find it. This is Lucky Star. This is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's just a really beautiful, classic nude. It leans a little, no, I was gonna say it leans a little peach, but it really doesn't. It's just like a flat nude. So these are the two glosses that I got. Everything else that I'm gonna show you is on my face. So can we just take a minute to talk about the packaging? Is that adorable? It's so cute. Why do I gravitate towards this color? On my face, let's talk about my eyes first. On my eyes, I have a combination of products. The first one is the Dawn Eye Palette. Looks like that. This is Dawn. You know, like Dawn, like in the morning, I think, right? Okay, whatever. This is the palette Dawn. Look at the mirror. Can we talk about that giant mirror? And look, it's the sun. Isn't that lovely? It has the most beautiful shades. Most of them are shimmery shadows. Um, the bottom one here actually has little bits of glitter in it, so if that's not your jam, this won't be your jam, but it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now in combination with, I need these in every color, you guys. This is the Be Noticed Eye Shimmer Putty Powder in Wonder Warrior. It is almost like a charcoal or black base with gold fleck in it, so it almost looks like an olive shade on the lid. And all I did was take my finger and pack it on the lid over and over, I would say two or three times. That's what's all over my lid right now, and it is a putty. You can see the little indentation in there from when I use it. I think they have like maybe five or six different colors. <sighs> okay, then I have two of the um, eye products, I guess. Um, the mascara, it's called the Thick and Thin Mascara. This is cool because it has a small side for like your lower lashes. You can see the little tiny wand. Um, and then you also have the normal side. And this is a traditional bristle, bristle wand mascara. You guys can see how my lashes look. I'm usually a uh, mascara stacker or like a mascara cocktail creator, so I'll use two or three different mascaras. I'm just using this one and I'm a big fan. Um, it gives you a very, 
um, natural, healthy, long, lengthened, and separated eyelash look. You can build the mascara and it does not get chunky or clumpy or weird or spidery or anything. Then on my face, uh, my cheek edge, I'm wearing the uh, Make Me Blush Cheek Color in Spring Fling. Look at that packaging, isn't that beautiful? And so their blushes are a combination of like satin and um, shimmery, drops of color so it's almost like a mosaic uh, or a pattern of shades and so when you mix them together you get a really beautiful natural radiant healthy glow this is the peach or the coral shade I think they have a nude a mauve and maybe a pink maybe um, I really like this and I especially like the lighter section so when I'm using my um, blush brush I'll swirl towards the edges more because it gives me more of a glow when I'm trying to do more of like a mauve or like a deeper peach I stay towards the center but if you go around the outside you see there's a lot more of that like light pearl shade and then this little duo of highlighters it's the be bright shimmer highlighter in hot damn uh, there's two different shades there is a cooler lighter toned one and then this is the medium to deeper skin tones um, this one has a giant mirror as well and then it has a gold highlighter and a bronzer they are both um, shimmery they are not matte products I'm wearing both of these on my face right now I'm wearing this as a highlighter I'm wearing this one all around my forehead, the perimeter of my forehead to make it look like I'm super tan. Then I'm also wearing this color sort of just brushed over. I just took a bigger fluffy eyeshadow brush and just kind of brushed it over my transition shade, which came from the Dawn palette, just to kind of tie in the bronze glow of the overall look. So I've tried the majority of these products. I'm actually super excited to try the Just Enough Tinted Moisturizer, because you know I'm a fan of like those lighter weight um, foundation base type products. So I'm excited to use that. I've used the majority of the products, but like my number one, number one super favorite of all of them are the Be The Boss lip glosses. They're just, they're must haves. And I think the reason I like them so much is because they have a paddle brush. And so you squeeze the tube and, you know, take out some of the product and then apply it. You don't have to re-dip. So you're not re-dipping constantly. And it's one of those like squishy tubes. The shade range is great. Um, they apply beautifully. They're gel based, so they're not sticky. Um, I really like them. And then the other product that I would super, super say, run to your Ulta now. I don't know if they have it in store. I ordered mine online. Um, the Be Noticed Eye Shimmer Putty Powders. I may or may not need every color in the range. If there is like an amethyst or like an icy lilac, that's going to be my first purchase. Right now I'm like lavender, 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 everything, everything, everything. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this Ulta haul. Like always, all these products will be listed and linked in the description box below. A couple of reminders. This is a giveaway video. So if you guys are fans of Ulta and you want to try your luck at getting a $200 Ulta gift card, there will be a link in the description box below. The other thing is when Beauty by Pop Sugar found out that I was doing this massive haulage of their products, they were like, wait, what's happening? Are you going to do a review on your channel or what's the situation? And I was like, no, it's my fifth year YouTube birthday celebration extravaganza. And I'm a fan of the lip gloss. I have this strong desire to try the rest of the brand. So they were like, well, if you like our products, do you want to do a giveaway of them? And I was like, well, it is my celebration extravaganza week, of course. So three of you guys will win some of my favorite products from Beauty by Pop Sugar, the products that are on my face currently. So if you're like, oh, I want that eye putty or that lip gloss or that bronzer highlighter duo or the eyeshadow palette, I don't know why I'm doing this. But if you guys want to enter that giveaway, I will have a link for that in the description box below. You want to make sure that you guys are following them on Instagram, um, and I will do a little reminder post over there so that you guys can check it out. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Uh, just throwing that out there so you guys don't get all like weird on me and try and break up. If you're like, you know what, Danny? I have the most rotten luck ever. I'm just, I never win anything, but I want to get that eye putty. All that stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff will be listed and linked in the description box below. Good luck, you guys, and thank you so much for an amazing five years. I've had a blast. You guys inspire me, you motivate me, you're super supportive, and I could not be more proud of this beautiful, amazing little community that we have going on here. So please, please continue in sharing your kindness and continue in being the positive lights that you are because I know for sure you make a difference in my life. I'm sure you make a difference in everyone else's. So thank you guys for these amazing, five years and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, wonderful 
fifth year YouTube anniversary celebration extravaganza. <laughs> Can I stop saying that? Probably not. Anyway, y'all know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. <laughs>